Welcome back to Clock Tower 2, done first by Axical. So this game has a finale? Uh, it does. There's also an ending reel after this that he recorded for us, but... I was under the impression this game just went on like this forever. Right. So It's like a roguelike of sameness. <laughs> so, uh, Alyssa's father is outside with Maxwell the Killer, as is that, uh, her uncle. And that thing. means we gotta raid some hmm, drawers. I wonder if it's important. Wonder if I, it's th a Alyssa, I think there are more important things going on right now. Than the green car, really? Can you? I can't think of anything though. Then getting legal status, I think there's more important things. Yeah. George Maxwell. Is there anyone at the lab by the name of Maxwell? That was established um, in the last part. But the <sighs> wasn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. No, it's it's been established. Okay. No, you're you're right. Alyssa is speaking for the viewer who is not paying attention. <laughs> oh yeah, I should go out and see what's going on there. What? How? <laughs> we have to split up no matter what it takes. <laughs> we will be split up, Alyssa. Uh, wait. That's the door she came in? So... What do you think they're all doing outside, just chilling? <laughs> so the mask, where did you get that? Oh, you know, found it. Is the machete thing sword heavy? Is that <laughs> oh, I got... I got it with the mask at Party City, actually. Oh, uh, okay. They were kind of, uh, it was kind of a, you know, deal, a two-in-one deal. So, and then I don't they know. all went for a beer run. This seems like a the really end. fun, really fun, clever puzzle. Yeah, oh, while man. the other guys get to do all the work with Maxwell and do the exciting stuff, Alyssa gets to press buttons and ride elevators and look through drawers for cards. <laughs> then she finds the three of them at Hooters. <laughs> oh, you guys. That's the end of Clock Tower So that's too. why you wear the mask. You're embarrassed to be seen here. <laughs> I it's, get it. it's fine, dude. It's just a fun restaurant. Yeah, it's just a, you know, it's not strip not th Right, yeah. It's just their gimmick. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> oh no, I need either the blue card key or the bazooka, or the shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun works against the keypad and the, the car works against the zombies? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how the zombie's politely waiting. I right. respect that Axel cut things out, but then I'm seeing this video is 36 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, the and Wonder Woman. I'm wondering, did you do enough work for us? <laughs> oh, stop. Of course he did. I think it's like... <laughs> I kid. I... Say. There we go. But we're so, not posting this. No, no, no. Let's just get that. This is just for our own edification. Anyway, now that everything's normal in here, we can. <laughs> Alright. Um, now that. Wait, didn't we just do that? Uh, oh, I see. That's ridiculous. Wait, so the zombie decides? Oh, there's nobody in here. There's no chair, so. <laughs> the zombie will be played by a cartoon character. <laughs> but that's like way more intelligent than a zombie's supposed to be. I mean, <laughs> the zombie takes out a magnifying glass. I wasn't even really aware zombies were very big on object permanence, frankly. Yeah, what do they operate by? Is it smell? I sound? thought so. It depends on which one. Walking Dead says smell and sound. Mm hmm. But then, wouldn't that corpse smell like a uh, person? It looks like fresh it's corpse. It's full of some yellow liquid. Better so take is it. my toilet. I don't flush. <laughs> if it's yellow, let it mellow, right? I, I mean, that's what I've always been told. All right. All right. Well, there's no first aid kits in here, so let's, uh, I guess, go back to Keycard City here. Or... Is that what Circuit City is spinning off into now? Yes, actually. Okay. Wonder what this is. A computer? I mean, honestly, your guess is as good as mine. Yes! Finally! It's been too long. Bates, tell me what this is. <laughs> then he kicks his father in the groin. <laughs> so that's what that was. It was a ball sack. <laughs> of technology. Of <laughs> technology. Oh dear. Hold on, up. Uh, I'll wait politely for you to go in the door first. I'm gonna but... fart out some purple flames in here, I guess. <laughs> the zombies, one thing it, it could say are brains and oh, excuse me. <gasps> oh, I think that's enough to trigger base, right? It's wearing right? a diaper. 
I hope it. No, I guess it's not enough to trigger. She was shocked more at the clothing than the rotting of the clothes. Right. Oh, this person. You despicable wench. She's on the phone with IT support. <laughs> Do you want to voice that latter part, or? I think she's waiting for IT support to finish Chris speaking on the other end. Me, and I'll never forgive you for it. She's definitely talking to IT. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely an IT call. Yeah. <laughs> Is she Back like off, bitch? Oh dear. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's Bates' one move, but it's so effective. Was that like demon on her way to yoga? What's with that outfit? All right. Well. <laughs> There's another job well done for Bates. Hang on, let me kick your pussy again. <laughs> Jack off, bitch. Oh, yeah. Bates is into that. Always goes for the nuts or the mm. coach every time. Right, yeah, no. That's really his only we move. We learn a thing or two from Bates. He calls it groin foo. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not a great, greatly smart person. Well, Bates. yeah. Or personality, I suppose. The only balls in there were dead. Mm-hmm. Well, nothing to kick here. No well, kids. Let me remember stamp. the last time I kicked someone in the nuts in here. Even though I'm pretty sure she didn't have nuts. Let's just, I guess, go back and forth between these two rooms. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. Wait. No. All right. There we go. Let's. Only the power of Bates could pick up that hatchet. <laughs> I mean, the pistol's fine and all, but, you know, he had to get really down and dirty with these zombies. With this hatchet, I could kick someone in the crotch. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Doesn't Maxwell have a hatchet, too? Or a big sword kind of thing? Are we going to have a legendary sword battle? Let's hope so. Oh, man, this is fitting my pyramid head crossover fanfiction nicely. Odd the way it sticks out like that. If you Sorry? say so, Bates. I don't really think that's true, but... What?! Oh, um... That's what? That's weird, I didn't even need the hatchet. It's not much use anymore. I didn't even know there was a graveyard around. He also looks exactly the same as before. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I get it. So we need... All right, so you need Bates to go digging around in the corpse, the, the corpse's stomach, the corpse so of a guy. done with Surgeon Bates. The corpse of a guy who obviously liked to dine on keys. So Alyssa would find that too icky to do. Probably, yeah. Alyssa's seen enough shit at this point. Yeah. No, I she think has. she can abandon some of those societal mores now. <laughs> I have completely lost the layout of this <laughs> entire place. Where are we again? This is a lab, I think. A I know there were a prison. Th Look there were pipes around. <laughs> all right, Someone I guess really so. sucked at washing their hands. Serious. Right. Uh, there's nothing here. Yeah, you got me there, honestly. Yeah. Incinerator. But what for? For making pizza. <laughs> oh damn it! I just went to that I was amulet. Would I was like, yeah. Incinerate the amulet, Bates forever. <laughs> Bates supremacy. Yep. Uh, oh. When I go to the graveyard as Alyssa, though, I have Bates. Would, I have the feeling Bates would do like a lot of really weird shit and like kick over gravestones and stuff. You would hope. There he is. Gotta climb upstairs, Bates. Oh. You know, it's, I, I always love the pulsing cursor because it makes it seem like whatever you're pointing at's really important. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a graveyard, all right. We we, we threw this. We've really been oh, outside since chapter. Alyssa, the curse. Alan Hale fooled me. Don't bother, Uncle. I can read your subtitles faster. He really wore me out. We played tag. He fooled. Or something. Even me. 
Stephen, Uncle Philip? Uncle Philip? Not Uncle Philip, the wisest man in the world. What did my father do? Alyssa, the golden statue. It, he. Got it. Thanks. It wasn't the curse. It was all his plan. Crystal clear clues from Uncle Tate. So you didn't Watch pick out up? for he. For you too. Hail hit. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uncle Philip. No. Oh. That is mildly upsetting. That's morning for you. Anyway. All right, now that we're over that. <laughs> Key. <laughs> I've got to find my father. At least, at least he doesn't have to move very far to be buried. That was a pretty convenient place <laughs> yeah, to die. Sad. Yeah. He probably got killed like three fours up. Like I, I should save him the trouble. Yeah. Why would there be a grave in a research lab? Also, my uncle is dead. <laughs> Alyssa asking all the pertinent questions of Clock Tower 2. Th th this is Probably Uncle Philip's what? name? I don't think so, Alyssa. <laughs> before I'm sorry, I, but no. Before I die, I have to etch my own tombstone. <laughs> anyway, everything's normal here. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I'm still, even though 20 minutes is plenty of time, I'm still not sure how they're going to wrap everything up. Oh, there's a lot of credits, Slowly. <laughs> Slow. The crotch kicking motion capture alone is like 10 minutes worth of credits. <laughs> you know, I'm okay with that, actually. Same, yeah. <laughs> crotch kickers, baits, 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 baits. <laughs> All of the credits are baits. Right. Why didn't I write myself in more scenes? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> All right, at least at least it's not hard to find the door that unlocked. Now where does this go? This goes to low res land, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what, are we, what are we going to a Nintendo game in Wreck It Ralph? What the hell? Just blow on the key before putting it in the door cartridge. Oh my god. All right, clock tower, we got the keys, okay? Now, let's just throw another zombie doctor in there. Another amulet disposal scene. Mm -hmm. We got time for it. We have time Wait, for what? literally anything. What's with the... Yes. The golden statue was important, according to Uncle Phil. Oh, there's nothing here. Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. Get rid of the amulet, Alyssa. That's How what. How do I we... make something be there? I don't get it. Statue. But why is it here? I thought I burned it. Is that, that why golden it... poop from Binding uh, of Isaac? That's because she burned it. Oh. That's uh, this is actually the origin story of the Binding of Isaac. Oh, okay. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> no! Don't leave the ambient. Alyssa, where do you come from? What is your... <laughs> what the now fuck? everything is even more normal. <laughs> Par for the course. So ordinary in the back of this room. Drab, drab, drab. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Whoa, books? This is fucked up. <laughs> well, well not, there's nothing books. here. There's tons there! It's low res enough that I could... I could go along with that. That's just a void. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what that looks like. Yes. That's good. You've got scale down. Hey, you work the old 9 to 5. You'll need to put a shotgun on your desk, right? <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, computers. Hey. And meetings. And business. In the, in the lab. Do we have... We don't have a key for that, surprisingly, so... Well, didn't we just look at this oh, before? there's nothing here. But is it normal? You know, it's weird. They, they voiced that, but not the everything's normal part. <laughs> because they could uh -oh. not say that. They're all face. labeled cerebral toxin. Gosh, there's so much of it. That's toxin? Well, that's what made the zombies, right? The cerebral toxin, but apparently there's just like an, it's a whole encyclopedia set devoted to it. <laughs> like, this is so fascinating in research, I have to write not one, 
but 16 or so books. Yeah, and you know encyclopedias, there are other C words. <laughs> Not just the C word either. <laughs> I think. Oh. Huh? Oh. I'm here. Same statue. <laughs> I get it. Mind filling us in, Bates? <laughs> Detective Bates already has everything figured out. I don't really get it. I just wanted to say that to posture. He's like a crouch kicking house MD, just figuring shit out on his own. And then... Wait, what? Why is he here now? Why is he typing so fast? It's not very ergonomic. Hey, you, what are you doing? Bates. How sly to go on about the Maxwell curse and all. Excuse me? Doc, you figured it all out. <laughs> Not surprising. You should also take a shot. Even if you do know, it doesn't matter anymore. Because it's all over now. What is? What are you talking about? It's over. I'm not right. so sure. <laughs> Who should go down first? You do want to see the conclusion, don't you? To the solitaire game I'm playing? You want to scoot oh. up a little bit? Kick him for that. I can't kick him in the nuts in that position. <laughs> he's, he's, he's found the one way around all my attacks. Maybe if I drop kicked him somehow. It's like a safe spot, more or less. Aww. Maybe if I take the statue and throw it down on his nuts. No, it's too bad. No, bait. Bates, you have so much potential. I know. Okay. How many crotches have been in this game and how many crotches have been kicked? <laughs> I think you will find the number of crotches outnumbers the ones of those who have been kicked. That have you been... know, I knew it was going to happen, but the fact that the father's not here when Bates isn't is just still, like, kind of... like it's, He's like Schrodinger's dad. <laughs> okay. Going downstairs, I'll leave that to the girl. <laughs> Alright, Bates, leave the room and come back in as Alyssa and I'll unlock the door for you. Deal? I need as much leg strength as possible for what I usually do. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> so I just wait here then? Or, oh, okay, bye Alyssa. Oh, she's so far away. So now... It's a veritable grab bag. Surprising, wait, though, really. That's a bag? That's an Uzi? A whole bag of Uzi. Why do we... Why was there a machine gun? What? Like, you, you can't uh, put something ridiculous in your video game and then just have one of the characters be like, yeah, that's weird that that's here. So we're that's on like, part 12 now. We're, we gotta go past that. He figures he's still mad at Maxwell, trying to steal all his research. That's all of his research? But steal it for what? Like, this isn't even like the T-Virus where there is some bio-weapon kind of shit, right? I mean, just, this makes really stupid zombies. Like, surely there's a point where you say, I'm sorry, this is not going to make a good bio-weapon. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, you okay. are. Right. I think it's safe to leave the amulet by all the severed feet. That seems about right. Well, now that I'm confused, I can... <laughs> okay. Well, that's, uh... I'm gonna pick up the chair and kill the dummy for good measure. No, I guess not. Give me something to break up the... Yeah. yeah. So this is, um... God damn. You know what's funny? Uh, I'm looking down at Axical's description for this video he made for, you know, gave for us, and it's like, mm. fuck this stupid, it's over, fuck this stupid game. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit in a dark corner and weep for a few days. It's the mark of a good long play when that's the sentiment behind it. I'm so sorry, Axical. Oh. I feel really bad for him. Maybe he'll feel better by recording Clock Tower 3. <laughs> no, no one will feel better about oh, that. Really? Um, okay, now that we've... Alright, now that we've walked through the whole laboratory... Uh-oh. Now it's time for... Oh, this person again. What kind of outfit going is that? you escape? You're going to die here. Also, I'm wearing a cup now, so your powers are useless against me. <laughs> what have I done? 
Shannon, stop! The joke, calling my name. It's not very good. Did joke. you ever have the right to call me by my name? What does that mean? You abandoned me when I was just a little girl. Well, I was a scientist, free like a bird, you know, that's what I, my motto is. And the game is stuck forever. If you must kill someone, kill me. What good is there in getting revenge against Alyssa? Revenge? Maybe you're right. But there must be a better way. Did, did he abandon you because you were a mannequin? Like high-fiving my face, that's a better way. Sorry, I just wanted to take a couple of aspirin. Oh, what? Well, that was odd. What a foolish girl. What happened here? Who is that? My daughter. See you later, Elsa. Well, I think that explains it. <laughs> Goodbye. I guess he doesn't want to Alyssa, talk. Well, we better split up now. Hey, Dad, what happened to the guy with the giant knife who killed your brother? Oh, I forgot to mention. I equip all of my daughters with a capsule they can chew to kill themselves. Dad, anything you want to explain about all the dead bodies around here? Who the hell is this? <laughs> I'm just guarding the, uh... Detective. Oh, yeah, it's good. My investigation's over. I just <laughs> found the safe spot. <laughs> That's all I care about. There's no sign that the number of zombies is decreasing, and it's time to get out of here. I'm gonna try to escape? You gonna drive the Zombies will get us and eat us if we stay here like this. Let's try to get out of here together. Let's speed up the audio. Sure. Just can't run away and leave things like this. Okay, so I guess we avoided the bad ending by not leaving with the detective who's just like, Zombies, fuck it. I'm out. That's oh. a cabinet. <laughs> Alyssa. I mean, I suppose in some metaphysical way it's like a tool. I... I mean, isn't anything a tool when you think about it now? Uh, sure, furniture's ca furniture you can, can be used. use it for all sorts of shit. There is no <laughs> sign that the number of zombies is decreasing. There is <laughs> one. Do you want to get out- do you want to get out of here with me? No? Okay, well then you deal with that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there we go. Ah, <laughs> Bates, you fucking rule. But he didn't go for crotch shots each time. He didn't need to. It was a I machine. Think Bates thinks that's where the brain is, regardless if they're a zombie or not. I don't think Bates is particularly good with weapons. You know, I think it was just sort of like spray and pray. Yeah. That's what the people who call it, right? Who are good with guns? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, got it. Or spray and pray is when you're, like, really drunk and going to the... That's what, I, that's what I, that's why I call it the urinal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, that's um, okay. really ominous. I don't know, again, why this isn't a lab either, but... And... Alright, I was not expecting that. I envied you. Well, that... <laughs> you're brilliant! I even you're built you this Maxwell family. room in your honor. <laughs> Everyone must die. Talking to you won't do any good. But your sake bar is coming along really well. <laughs> Since I was the one who made you crazy. <laughs> do you want to put on this larger mask? Lissa? You are... You are not my <laughs> Sorry you had to find out like this, but... This is supposed a to episode of Lori. George Maxwell. I was jealous of this man. <laughs> well, how and could you not be? Of cloud Make strife. him fall. I dug you up from the Maxwell's grave. What? What are you talking about? Father, I, d I don't understand. Same. You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family family every few generations. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that while I'm drinking this glass of water. Well, I can't believe she's a cursed daughter from this stock. Maxwell, you are a one-track pony, man. I... <laughs> Don't interrupt! I love Bang. you as if you were my own daughter. 
I never thought of you as a tool to harm anyone. Or a cabinet to harm anyone, so as I... some people call it. Yes, yes. So I infected the statue with bacteria. To okay. make him go crazy. Now, I'm not a biology oh, expert. Makes sense, yeah. Bye, Alyssa. Hurry and leave. This building is going to blow up. Wait, what? Since when? How? It's a laboratory in a video game. It's going to blow up in the third act. Those are the biggest candles I've ever seen. Wait, Father. Wait, how did he die? Uh, my heart uh, as well. Everyone must die. You're not my father. No, the cutscene. Lie down. That time, God. He just wants to make snow. <laughs> Wait, is that the building blowing up? Well, slowly. I don't know if you heard this, but everyone must die. Oh. Now. Now let's watch Sin City. <laughs> So, I am so lost. I think we're starting a new game. This is the beginning, right? And then, okay, Look so... Look at this! <laughs> I'll get him with this. <laughs> you know what you're doing! This would be Digging a good tool to Maxwell use. Maxwell Grave? You think the curse is real? It's, it's pure absurdity! The curse of the Maxwells is just an old wine. Am I not shining that in my eye, please? <laughs> Are you crazy? You just dug up a live baby. <laughs> That's really not supposed to happen. I might have been closer with that uh, origin story of Binding of Isaac than I realized. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, right. It's right, everyone must die. <laughs> I... Good thing we escaped off camera. It's hard, yeah. isn't it? They did it to them. Everyone's didn't dead, they? and it's all my fault. Hey, keep it down back there. <laughs> Maybe so. It would have been better if I had died. Burn kick. This would be a good picture for my thoughts on Clock Tower 2. It's not that you've died there once already, you know. Sorry? Well, I guess I've got to get rid of those zombies. It's not gonna work, be easy. work, work. God, can her face be any brighter? <laughs> oh, he's right. Do you believe the ending line for Clock Tower 2 was, Well, I guess I gotta get rid of the zombies. <laughs> I, the NPC, should do what the main character should have done. Well, see ya. Well, can't leave that loose ends untied. Oh man, well, that was quite- we still have an ending reel. So they had no staff to speak of, but they did have a lot of these other people. <laughs> well, there's the cabinet programmer, Taki Shigami, very well done. Tool supervisor. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I feel like every game company in Japan has a completely different org chart every time. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like a trail of vomit. <laughs> That's the guy who drank a lot of Sapporo during... There are a lot of visual section leaders. What does that even mean? Right. Lots of events to produce. Sure. Make it make a space between Matono and Shin. Lots they get mad. To produce. All right, this is normal, and this is normal, and this is normal. <laughs> go, go, go. Background production for all of your pixely needs. <laughs> make a line break between the second and third people, because everyone after those two don't even count. Put a dot here and there. <laughs> they had a ton of people working on the backgrounds, yet one for game characters. <laughs> All right. And one for director, screen production, animation, effects production. Mm-hmm. God damn! I think there were more people that worked on the backgrounds than everyone else combined. <laughs> there was only one sound effect in the whole game. Yeah, and it was uh, Ichiro Atsuno's job to do it. <laughs> what the hell is Team Humania? <laughs> Oh god, extra mode. No and thank you. Is that a new game plus? <laughs> and everything else by you, Taka. Good. So I feel like the staff with blackness should have summarized the whole game. Is this everyone who bought the game? Who's the salespeople? <laughs> Their own section. 
<laughs> thanks for thanks for bringing this out to the uh, retailers. Ladies and gentlemen, the marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> the public relations team. Yeah, good. Yay. Now the custodial staff here at Human Entertainment. And here are some students who came in one day and got de-educated because of it. <laughs> the hell is this music? That's the PR team on the phone. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> he gets his own section? <laughs> it was uh, his contract, I think. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, man. These people must have done a lot to get in a special thanks section. Such as. Uh. <laughs> These are all people who got kicked in the crotch. I see. <laughs> Developer number one. <laughs> he didn't. He wanted to be uncredited. Special thanks to the person who did not want to be thanked by name. <laughs> U.S. localization team? Okay. Mark Johnson, we gotta talk about dialogue. <laughs> Stop and go box to the drawing board, if you would, Franz. <laughs> Robert, uh, we have to talk also. <laughs> you had one job, Robert. There were some theirs and theirs, maybe, that you missed. <laughs> All right, Dennis, uh, you and Shinya have to talk also. Honestly, we just need to all have a meeting, I think. <laughs> now, that's interesting. Dana and her brother Hideko, I speak the Russell family. Right. So what makes their special thanks different from the previous special thanks? Uh, these people are a special thanks. Like, especially thanking them, you know. Student Did you localization had something special? <laughs> and they went on a drunken cruise after it, which they especially liked. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. Do you think we're next? No, I doubt it. I don't. I, I'm so lost as to what the hell this was. It was ASCII Entertainment. I, it was entertaining, I suppose. <laughs> By the way, we copyrighted the human race. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Just send an email in there. Hey! Oh. Hey, Rank. Good job, Axical. A for Axical. Yay. Thank you, Siberia Winks, too, for helping out there. Okay. Um, how does this go on for another two minutes? The special mode? Oh. Wait, what do we have here? Ridiculous thing to research. Ergonomic chairs. Still my clock tower too. <laughs> Same music plays in my head when I get off. Of right. <laughs> what Beans is doing really isn't matching that. Oh hey, look. Wait, how did he hit the button? This should kill Maxwell, right? Because because uh, his brain is. Well, somewhere. But uh, didn't he die to gunshots in the last scene? I think. Time paradox? <laughs> or they didn't think of that. Well, I guess I'd better go kill Maxwell than the credits. Uh, you know, there's two urinals. You don't have to fight. <laughs> 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 I will never, ever tire of it. Right, minute 50 Karita. Gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> the cake in the crotch wasn't enough. Take that zombie mailman. So the shotgun knows where the brain is. Yeah. Or the parasite, rather. I guess. I, guess, I think it does. Okay. I think it's, it's like a spread attack, you know. Oh, maybe he's showing us what happens in that weird bathroom. <laughs> Or... The Looney Tunes bathroom? Right. With Bates, I mean, you yeah. know. This is the dude's bathroom. Oh, that's right. Face. That isn't me. That isn't anyone, actually. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm in a woman's body? Did someone like... take a shower in here? Hey, like a really look what's in its hand. Ah, oh, shit. 
It's only a toy. <laughs> what's the what's the point of that scene? Wait, what was the toy? More importantly, it's a, it's a gun. Yeah, a <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take it anyway. All right, no, the that's kids not like much it. help. Well, sweet dreams anyway. Oof, was he gonna kiss the dead scientist to sleep? Or? Why would the dead scientist be also, defending the dead himself scientist with a model is gun? Really tall. Yeah, right. Actually. <laughs> He's like, like ninety percent torso. That was Professor Jack Skellington. I'd like to see that scientist without his for research. Whoa, what the? Hey. You <laughs> murder Rita? <laughs> oh. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> well done, Axel. That takes me. Thank, back. thank you very much. And scene. We'll never know the answer. <laughs> That's right. That's right.